Now, how many times do you think I've done that? A lot. You ever play any sports in, uh, in high school? Nah. Uh, I was. I don't want to know. Right. Play sports. Nah. Play sports. Not high school. Play sports. Play sports. Yeah. Basketball. Basketball. Baseball. Basketball and baseball. <laughs> in order to play in the games, did you have to practice? Yeah. You know, I've had many ex-professional athletes in my seminars over the years, and I'm pretty much convinced that for every hour they played on Friday night or Saturday afternoon or Sunday if they were prof professionals, um, for every hour they played in front of a crowd, they practiced 40 hours. Mm. You're in a commission sales job. There is no second place money. You win or you lose. If I do a really, really good job, Art, and the customer buys somewhere else, but I did a really, really good job, what's my reward? Nothing. That'd exactly. be nothing. Okay? Zero dollars. Actually, it rips your guts out when yeah. you barely miss out on a deal. You've got a great sales tool here, but in order to make this tool work in spectacular fashion for you, you're going to have to practice. Now, I'll be here today and I'll be here tomorrow, but I'm, look, I'm really good at this, I know, but I'm also, I also understand that it's what happens after I leave that makes the yeah. real difference, not while I'm here. We'll have fun. Are you having fun here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fun. Yeah. I'm fun. I'm, 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 I, I love this stuff. And I know it can work, but I also know that it takes practice. Um, Art, you're a sales manager, correct? You used to be. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, in our business, what's your name? Joshua. Joshua and Steve Richards, very nice to meet you. What, you, what are you doing? Stand well, stand up. up. Well, stand stand up. up. Stand You're your salesman? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, did you just get here? Yes, sir. I had just came here. Okay. Today was my off day, so I made sure I came before the 11 o'clock. Okay. Are you going to be here tomorrow morning? Yes, sir. At 9 o'clock? Yes, sir. So, hey, why don't you come back then? Because I'm going to start all over at 9 o'clock there. Yeah. But, but you're, you're welcome to have, but you're welcome to because you missed a lot, but you're welcome to hang out here now. Cool? Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> um, Art, we don't have a real, I mean, in the Marines, how often did you drill? All the time. All the time. All day. All day in order to prepare for the moments when your lives were at stake, right? Brad, you've been do, doing this for eight years. Do we have a real culture of practice in our industry? Organized chaos, maybe. Yeah. Organized chaos. It ain't practice. Okay. John Lucas. You know who he is? Professional okay. basketball player some time ago. I mean, he's, he's probably been retired for maybe eight or nine years. He was a great player. I was listening to a hymn on a radio show when I was in Dallas. He was talking about practice. He said, you know, what made the difference for me is he said, I didn't practice to get it right. I practiced until I could not get it wrong. I don't want you to be Jared. I don't want you to be me. I want you to be a better version of you. Okay? That'll be plenty good enough. Make no mistake about that. Um, I want you to be a better version of Jeremiah. But these two things, Brett, I want you to be a better version of Brett, a better version of Joshua, okay? The best value guarantee and the exchange policy both make it easier for the customer to say yes. I mean, when people walk on this lot, I mean, what's their state? Looking state. Well, you know, but but what, what, how, what, are they uptight? Yeah, uptight. Def defensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared? Scared? Yeah, okay, I mean, look, closed. shopping for a car is a traumatic experience for about 99% of the population, okay? Yeah. So what this sales tool does is it's designed to eliminate fears. Um, are do people worried about buying somebody else's problem when they're buying a used car? Yes. Okay, could the inspection and warranty eliminate that fear? Yes. yes. Okay, so if we eliminate that fear, it's easier to say yes. We already talked about people worried about paying too much. If we eliminate their fear of paying too much, does it make it easier for them to say yes? Yes, sir. Um, they don't want to get stuck with the wrong vehicle, but if we can eliminate that, it makes it easier for them to say yes. If, if they're going to get a vehicle that comes with coverages that even new cars don't come with, 
does it make it easier for them to say yes? Yes, sir. So we just got to get good at communicating all this stuff to the customer. Okay? Once you do that, Well, once you do that, your closing ratio is going to go up. The process is going to go faster. Customer satisfaction is going to be higher. And you're going to make more gross profit. It's that simple. But it's easy to talk about in here. Okay? Okay? Yeah. But it's going to require some practice. Repetition. Are you feeling strong right now? 